Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop tutorial. So in today's video, we will learn how to set up emails with a custom configuration in PrestaShop. By default, the software is set to use the standard PHP mail function, which is actually fine in most cases. However, you might uh, want to set up your own SMTP settings for emails and send them from a server which is, uh, say, different from the one PrestaShop is currently hosted on. Now, since version 1.6.1.5, PrestaShop updated the Swift Mailer plugin and it's now finally possible to use Gmail addresses again, which, in case you don't know, was incompatible with previous PrestaShop versions. Now, let's see how to quickly configure Gmail in PrestaShop. I am in the back office, and I'll reach Advanced Parameters, Email. This page is supposed to hold emails exchanged with the email address set in the preferences as well as the specific configuration. I have no emails here since this is a local host installation. What we're interested in is the email box here. And you can see it reads, it's using uh, PHP's mail function as default setting. What we need here is the custom SMTP setting. So I will click on it and the new box drops down below where I can set up my own SMTP parameters. Of course, this, uh, these parameters will be different depending on the service you want to use. And I already added Gmail, the Gmail ones, uh, for my test account. So as you can see, I left the mail domain name empty as it can be left out in most cases, so don't worry with it but we do need to fill in all of the other fields. So for Gmail, the SMTP server is simply smtp.gmail.com. And this is true for plenty of services like uh, say Windows Live, which uses smtp.live.com. But uh, in any case, you need to check this with your own mail service each time. So it's usually easy to find out in uh, the service, uh, services control panel or by Googling, uh, say, like a service name and SMTP settings, for example. This will also or should also give you the port you must use in order for PrestaShop to be able to connect. And we can use the port here. In case of Gmail, we have two ports, uh, 587 and 465, which uh, must be used according to the encryption chosen. Now, Gmail wants 465 for encrypted connections. So again, make sure to check the right one for your own service. As a side note, the reason why PrestaShop, uh, the previous PrestaShop versions didn't work with Gmail was because the encryption algorithm was broken in PrestaShop and Google strictly required SSL or TLS connections. Uh, lastly, of course, add the email address as well as the password. Now it's not, it's not displaying here, so once you hit save, and I will not do it now, but once you hit save, you will see the SMTP password field will go blank again, but no worries, it's gonna be saved in any case. So at this point, always make sure you send a test email at the very bottom. So let me first make sure that I save to set my own SMTP settings. All right, and then we'll hit send a test email. Okay, great. So I'm on localhost, so uh, this means it worked because otherwise uh, I've not configured it for using PHP's mail function. Uh, therefore, in a couple of minutes, if not instantly, I will receive an email from the address I specified here. So testnewprestaswift at gmail.com. Um, to the test address I have here, so nemo at nemops.com. All right, so this is everything for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.